Hey everybody, it's Luffy D. Rackley back with another Minecraft video. So there's one or two things I want to talk to you about before we get started today. Uh, the first thing is after that base tour that I gave y'all last week, I realized there was some of, some of the rooms that had been done I won't happy with. So we started renovating, and I'll try to remember at the beginning of each video to show you what we've changed and updated as far as the base goes. And I want to do something different with the animal pastures out there because I've had creepers start spawning up there as well as over here almost got blew up the other day um, so we're gonna redo this whole area as well so like I said at the beginning of every first video I'll try my best to remember to show you the um, updated rooms so with that being said let's go check out the first set of rooms that uh, I've been working on and renovating now if you remember correctly at the bottom of the base the um enchanting room and the smelting room well I've already started renovating as well as this as you can see it's nowhere near as cluttered and this is a lot better so let's go over here this is now the smelting room and I really like this design and I've already moved the stuff that we talked about moving out of this chest into here so over here are your ores lava buckets iron and stuff like that over here are your stones andersite over here is everything block wise like glowstone that you get from the neither and I've made this section here from the ocean everything you get from the ocean so this is now the enchanting room and if you remember correctly I didn't have uh, I had the bare minimum bookshelves to enchant well this one's done and I think over here we only lack one two five eight so we only lack eight bookshelves now I've been grinding the cows out there breeding them and then killing them but I've also got a villager a librarian villager over there in the village that sells bookshelves but it's six emeralds for a bookshelf so between those two I've been able to make it this far within the last couple days so I'm very happy with these three rooms I would say they once I get the last library books in there and get the item frames on the chest it would be a finished project like this one so I'm hoping to get each room in my base as happy as I am with this one and I have to say I like both these designs so we're gonna keep grinding on the with the wheat and the cows but what I want to talk to you about today is I didn't know what I was gonna do with this middle room but I have finally decided on it and that's what we're gonna be working on today is clearing this out and getting this ready over here so when I was digging out the rooms and I did that side those three rooms first then I did this room and I accidentally stumbled into a cave back there which I've got blocked off now but in the process of doing that I came across a zombie spawner right below my base so this is this will be my first experience farm that I've ever made ever on Minecraft now I've watched a couple videos on YouTube and I got a really good I guess framework to go with so the goal is to build this spawner here and have them go up in an elevator and then once I get this room cleared out here we're gonna make this the kill room so fantastic I'm excited so let's get started with that today forgot to empty my inventory oh and on another note After last week's video, I went down here to work on the mine and dug into a lava pool and got trapped under a stone and I couldn't find my way out. End up dying, lost all my experience, lost my silk touch pickaxe, my silk touch axe, my silk touch shovel, 
Lost. I didn't lose my diamond armor though. For some reason, when I went back down, half my experience and all my diamond armor that I enchanted was sitting on a block ab above the lava. I don't know if that was the block that I got trapped under or what, and it just appeared up there. I would say I was lucky. So I was able to get my armor back and my experience. Well, a little bit of my experience back. So I've been grinding between the villagers and killing mobs at night, and I have been able to get one of my pickaxes back and I didn't get silk touch but I got my axe back so I'm still working on my shovel and trying to get a silk touch pickaxe and get my sword re-enchanted so I felt it was a perfect time to go ahead and get the zombie spawner set up get the experience farm going plus in the village I have a potions master or potions guy that I'm trying to get up to expert or master and he takes rotten flesh so it just works out perfect but with that being said, let me go ahead and empty my inventory and we'll get started. Alright, so from what I watched, you want your ceiling above the spawner to be three high and to leave a column stack on it so they won't spawn there and stay there. And then you want it a nine by nine room and you want it four down from the spawner. So I'm going to finish clearing this out. I'll be right back. Alright, so all right, I got the floor down to four and I've picked what direction I want them to go. They're going to go this direction. But before that, we got to go clear out the kill room. So let's head over there. Alright, so we got the first half of the kill room cleared out. So now we're going to get two buckets of water so that we can have an infinite water source on the ground. Alright, now we're digging out three squares, or three blocks, and we're going to place one bucket of water on each side. This will give us an infinite water source in the middle so we don't have to go back to the surface. Now, why is this important? Because it would be very time-consuming to run to the surface and get water with just two buckets. But by doing this, I'm able to go down and place water on each one of the blocks. And there's nine blocks across the back that we got to do. So... We're going to go ahead and go down and place the first two, and then I'm going to do that all the way across. So here's the first one, and then we'll go ahead and do the second one. I don't know if the actual, my way back up will stand. I haven't tested it, and I guess it is. I guess the water's not going to take it down. So, let, so I'm going to go up and get more water and get that finished, and I'll be right back. All right, so we've got that done. Now we're going to go over here, and we're going to dig two down and then dig two all the way across. I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. All right, now we're placing our water source down here. We're going to take out that brick and then place the other water source. Then we're going to find the middle, and that's where the water we place down here meets, which will be should be the middle where the spawner is in the room. Then we're going to turn the other way. We're going to dig four in, and then we're going to dig all the way up to the surface. All right, so we've got up to the surface now, and where this um, bamboo structure is coming up, I think that's scaffolding. Yeah. That's going to be our elevator. That's where they're going to shoot up. Now we're going to go ahead and do a 3x3 three three with cobblestone. And go ahead and build it as high as we need it so there's a 21 drop. And we're actually going to build it across the river and then back down to the other side of the kill room. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And I'll be right back. Alright, so we've got the elevator side done. And now we're going to place in the glass so that we can see them go up, which will be a nice touch in the kill room. So we're going to go ahead and finish putting glass in these three columns. That way you can, you'll can you be able to see it a lot better, hopefully. I actually have no idea. Now, I have seen it on some YouTube videos that you are able to see them from what I can see. So I'm hoping that it works out good for, for ours. Uh, because like I said, I've never done this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish popping the rest of this glass. And then we're going to move on. Alright, so we've got the structure done. we got the elevator. It took us all the way up to the top. And now we've got this built. But we're not going to close it all the way in yet. Because we have got to go take out all the torches. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, we just we have just knocked all the torches out and we've got all the way back up shot up by the elevator and we got out and we have closed in our encasing. So let's go down and see if it's working. 
I really like that design. Yes. All right, let's keep moving. Do, 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 do. I hope this works. I've never built one of these before in my life. Oh, we got zombies. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Fantastic. Oh, I don't have any food. Oh, can we see them shoot up? I hope this works. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Uh oh. There they are. I wonder if it's because it's an eight block. And if you notice when we got out that water block right there, uh, right here, when you get up there, I had to put another water bucket. So that water actually stays still, and then they have they fight the current for eight blocks. So I guess it will take them a little bit longer to fall, but I really like this design because, like I said, this is going to be the wall of that room, and this is going to be our two doors. So it looks they'll be right up against the doors. They'll be right up against the wall, so it looks somewhat symmetrical. So overall, I am very happy with it. I'm actually very excited about it to be quite honest. I've never done one of these before and the research I was doing with the soul sand is something I had never heard of. I actually thought it was going to be a lot more difficult and time consuming but this was fairly easy. Um, overall I think it took me about an hour and a half. But I, you know, I trimmed out a lot of the repetitive work and all that but Overall, I'm super happy. So this is going to be our kill chamber. I really don't know how I'm going to design it yet, and we still got to dig out this other half. And I also researched that you can move spawners with Silk's Touch. So I've come across two spider spawners in an abandoned mine shaft. So I'm going to test out that theory when I get Silk Touch back and see if I can't do this same setup, but over there. So that third room over there, I can build a another spawn chamber and have that same tube design come up and come down in the same area and have these on each side. But I don't know how close you have to be to the spawner for it to work. So that's something I'm going to have to mess with. Can I be at the top of the base? Can I be, do I have to be down here? Like what is the block radius for this? for them to actually spawn because now the whole time I was digging out that room before I got into the cavern all you heard was zombie noises and when I actually broke this wall back here and busted in the zombie spawner has spawned all these zombies over time and they were in a water source and there was probably 15 of them and I gained quite a bit of experience so dope. Oh wow, that I sweet. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. I'm gonna work on getting this room design over the next couple of days and work in there. And like I said, I'll probably be grinding the farm a lot and be grinding the cows a lot, <laughs> trying to get as much leather as possible because that's gonna be the finishing touches for those rooms over there that are almost complete is getting them item frames on the chest so I know what's what and where it's at. Um, and to get our experience back up so we can start enchanting our equipment and getting ready to go look for the end. I've never been to the end either. So I do want to get to the end and get those boxes that I've been seeing people on YouTube have uh, extra storage boxes what are they called I don't know exactly what they're called but if you put in the comment what they're called that'd be fantastic so we're gonna eventually go looking for the end pretty soon I've got quite a bit of Enderman eyes and I got blaze rods so I'm getting ready to make me a couple of those and I at least want to go looking for the end portal very soon at least find it and then make a safe patches way there so it's easy for me to go back and forth too. Um, but for now, I'm just going to grind. If you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button. We're going for 104 likes today.
Yeah. Appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you next time.